From the military hospital 10 miles north of the White House, Donald Trump's condition is now the source of mounting confusion. A short time ago, his personal doctor added to the growing number of questions, admitting for the first time the president had been given oxygen. So I was concerned for possible rapid progression of the illness. I recommended the president we try some supplemental oxygen, see how he'd respond. He was fairly adamant that he didn't need it. He was not short of breath. He was tired, had the fever, and that was about it. But implausibly, he said he didn't know if oxygen had also been given in the hospital. Could you give him a second round of supplemental oxygen yesterday? Uh, I'd, have to, I'd have to check with the nursing staff. Uh, um, I don't think that if he did, it was very, very limited. And he avoided a question about whether the president had pneumonia. Um, there's some expected findings, but nothing of uh, any major clinical concern. When he arrived here on Friday night, the president had also just received a highly experimental drug. But he posted overnight a video that was designed to be reassuring. I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back because we still have to make America great again. But this was something that happened and it's happened to millions of people all over the world and I'm fighting for them. Not just in the US, I'm fighting for them all over the world. So many things have happened. If you look at the therapeutics, which I'm taking right now, some of them, and others are coming out soon that are looking like, uh, frankly, they're miracles. Miracle or not, it is radically changing the contours of the election campaign. Joe Biden today holding a virtual town hall rally, saying he was suspending all negative advertising. I don't want to be uh, attacking the president and the first lady uh, now because uh, they're, uh, they're now the, uh, have contracted coronavirus. And Jill and I pray for their quick and full recovery. But there remains deep suspicion about the reliability of information emerging from the hospital. These photos were released by the White House looking distinctly staged. And it appears the president was signing a blank piece of paper. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington.